I cannot wait, and they got postponed, the USC-UCLA games, the USC-Arizona games, like those are going to be monster, monster games. Yeah, we're looking forward to those. USC, by the way, back in action against Cal on Thursday. Is there a team, and I'm going to ask you about Arizona in one second, maybe this is the answer to this question, but of those three teams, is there one that you believe in the most? Man, I didn't think I didn't think I'd be saying this, but I think Arizona because you know people didn't know Tommy Lloyd, new head coach. You know they they were down last year, no postseason, but they had some guys coming back, and like Tommy Lloyd's came in and implemented a whole new way of playing. Guys got better. Speaking of Brandon Carlson, Christian Coloco is probably the most improved player in the league, and so the way they play, they just come at you. I mean, they get stops and they are downhill and running, and they've just overwhelmed teams. And so I think with that and Matherin stepping up and the biggest question coming into the season with, the, with Arizona was Kirk Creasa. Like, well, they don't have a point guard. Well, it turns out they do. Just because Creasa only played eight games last year, people didn't think that he could fill that role and play 30 minutes. Well, he can. not And so now that that question has been answered, I think now this doesn't mean that 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 USC and UCLA aren't going to beat them. I think right now Arizona's the most complete team in the league just because of the way they play. And I think the difference for me is Coloco on that back line, him and Tabellis, the size they have on the front line and the defensive rim protection. I want to circle back to Matherin because you, you, when you came in today, that was, he was the first name that you said. And I think when you look at what he's been able to do and the way he's been able to play, he's he's the leader of this team. But what do you like specifically about well, what he brings? And how coming into the season, he was probably the highest rated pro prospect in the league, and he's living up to it. He, he's improved his jumper. He's become way more consistent from behind the three-point line. But I think he's taken on the role of the number one guy. He's the main guy. He's their leading scorer. One of the, I think he's second leading scorer in the league. And so when defenses are setting up for him, and he's the number one item on the scouting report, he's still answering that. And so he's a front runner for player of the year in the conference for, for, for me right now. But we know this, once we get into conference, the scouting reports are thicker. They know what you like to do. The difference is, again, Tommy Lloyd's new to the league and what he does. So there isn't a couple years of game film and game tape and stuff that they can look at.